My name is Mark R. Smith, and I'm here to talk about my exhibition, Phalanxes, at the Elizabeth Leach Gallery. Symmetry really became an, an overriding theme of the show. First, I suppose, because of my interest in utopian communities, uh, and specifically in writings from Charles Fouillet, who himself um, was obsessed with symmetry. Uh, Fouillet was an early uh, 19th century social philosopher in France, was basically the architect for many of the experimental communistic societies that uh, unfolded in the US during mid 19th century. The symmetry idea uh, evolved out of a personal longing on my part for this current fractured social political climate to be made right. In terms of process, I work in reclaimed textiles, mostly stripes. I'm drawn to the materiality of the woven fabric. And I'm drawn to the process of imposing a limited materials vocabulary on myself and finding ways to invent within those constraints. One thing especially that attracts me about fabric is that there's a commonality in those materials. They're easy to find. They come along with their own associations. And I, I like the idea of kind of picking from that very ordinary vocabulary and then uh, uh, transforming those materials into something very mysterious. So I arrived at the title for my current show, Phalanxes, the reading about Charles Fourier's description of his collective communities, which he called phalansteries where people would live in groups together free of external regulations and hold property in common. Phalanxes translates as formations, so it makes sense in that context. But if you look it up in the dictionary, um, it also is commonly referred to as a, a formation in, in terms of military strategy, like a battle formation. In light of the coming elections, I was interested in investigating the irony embodied in, the, in those two very different interpretations of the word. How on one hand, it could suggest a spirit of cooperation, and how on the other, uh, the, the term could be weaponized. City as a star is an idealized plan for a community that provides equal points of access from all sides. There's a clear avenue coming from every direction, which leads to the city's core. Visually, it works both as an elevation. Um, and it also serves as an aerial plan looking down with a star grid overlaid on top. The mound um, has come to symbolize for me an idealized social organism like a termite mound. Termites are vastly more successful at working cooperatively than human beings through this process called stigmergy. <laughs> also, if you think about the layout of DC, Washington DC, it is similarly laid out with avenues leading to the Capitol's core and the federal buildings and so on, like spokes on a bicycle wheel. The layout embodies that ideal of accessibility and one hopes that it's, it truly means something. So there are three particular works in the show that are fragmented, fractured into two very distinct sides. They can only uh, successfully exist as symmetrical forms by the fact that they are uh, sutured together basically by a zipper. And I was thinking in that sense about very, very kind of fractured political, uh, political sides, political thought, and how uh, to create some kind of whole, you need to kind of drag these two competing um, sides together to make it right, to bring back the symmetry the political climate really affected the way I, I, I put together this show because that was, that's been in the background for the duration of making this work. I hope through experiencing this exhibition that viewers will see the labor and effort that I put into it. And as a result, there's some kind of care or love and humanity that resonates in the work.